Okay, so I already placed back the, uh, the film inside the patient's mouth. As a recap, we have 20 degrees set right here on the PAD or the X-ray machine, the X-ray unit. Now, step number one, okay? You don't want to hold the X-ray straight uh, against the teeth like that because our teeth curve. And if you do this, you're going to get overlapping. So you have to do a small adjustment with what's called a horizontal angulation. That means you're gonna tilt the PAD slightly. Too much of these will cause overlapping. Not enough will cause overlapping as, as well. So we're gonna tilt it a little bit. Now there's two things you have to uh, consider right here. As reference, okay, make sure you align this part of the, uh, you can come closer. This part of the PAD, which is the bottom part, align it with the snap rate, okay? If it's too high, guess what? You're gonna get a comb cut. If it's too low, you're gonna comb cut the upper portion of the film. So make sure it's the line of the bottom. Second, we already know that the edge of the film ends at the uh, mission of the cuspid. So you're gonna align this side of the PID with the uh, mission. If it's too hard, you can always use this little corner as a reference. So if you align it with that corner, you're pretty much there, okay? Now you're gonna, you're gonna get closer to the patient. And again, always support the machine. And then with your body, you can just push the machine a little bit, ensuring that you don't hit the patient, okay? What I recommend to my students normally is to uh, leave a space about the uh, finger's width. Okay, so you, you don't want to put your finger there, then you're good, you're close enough, all right? You don't wanna do this, okay? Come closer. Check the alignment here, check the alignment there. And guess what? All you gotta do is just go there and take your next choice. Any questions?